Okay, so we're installing the Geo plugin here. And let's go to the Google API website. What Google wants to do is keep track of who's using what. So we need to get a key. This is all explained on their developer website. We need to get a key for the map. Um, if you, if like over X amount of users use it, they want you to pay for it. What is it 25,000? So you turn on the map service and from there you can get the key just click on it so the key is right there copy and paste that into your code and you're ready to go so we can just go ahead and do a quick test do a hello world example copy and paste and paste the key into the key part make sure to set the sensor variable to true or false set it to false for now paste in the key use lowercase letters didn't like the uppercase so we can test it and it launches pretty easily and that's it now we need to integrate this into phone gap in jQuery mobile. It's a little tricky but can be done. Just a quick explanation on the Google Maps code. You start with the style to make sure the map containers are a hundred percent so you can actually see it. With the HTML body and the canvas and our usual Google Maps JavaScript and we go into the initializing part this function doesn't get called until the Google map event of window load basically it waits till the the body of the HTML is loaded to call this function to render the map initialize so the map option basically gives parameters to the map to be rendered a certain way like the center of the the map should be at the latitude longitude latitude longitude later in our geolocation um, instead of a fixed number obviously we will plug in um, variables from the geolocation and the zoom um, obviously smaller or bigger will determine the zoom so if, if this was a 2 we be zoomed out all the way on the global level if we go all the way in let's say 12 we'd be pretty close to the street level and the map type um, Obviously, there's satellites and all that good stuff. And finally, these options are initialized with this uh, Google Map object. And the object is passed the ID of the canvas in our HTML map canvas. And the second parameter is the map options. So that's basically how. Google Map is set up. Obviously you can add events, markers, and all that good stuff. It's all documented on their site. So this is the code example on the PhoneGap site. It's pretty straightforward. 
um, our usual on device ready and once the ready and once the device is ready calls geolocation get current position and the usual on success on error on the success it passes a position parameter and you use this to basically get the latitude coordinates longitude altitude and so on all we really need is the longitude and latitude and finally our on error just to have so we can run this and see how it looks I'm running this through the simulator and here are the coordinates I guess all it's really doing is just um, using my IP to get the longitude latitude this isn't an, an actual device so that's what's using I guess so now we need to basically use these coordinates and plug it into the map into the Google map and make it work with jQuery mobile okay let's insert in our styles now this style definition is really important um, to have the map show up these have to be defined pretty well without this the map is invisible basically just setting the padding the positioning uh, top right left and bottom okay so basically this is just defining an ID of content so let's say page one will give this div content ID content so this will be our map container and we'll have another map container in here and I believe we call it map canvas map canvas okay so this is the overall big content container and the map canvas is where the map will go in and we need to include our Google map JavaScript okay set the sensor to true since we'll be using for the phone Also, another important thing to remember is this app is trying to call a script on Google. And there is a whitelist, I, belie I believe. In your config, for now, it'll be just regular star. So the access origin thing is a security measure. So an app doesn't pull in dangerous um, worms from different sites and so on so let's see if it works now it's kind of working but the map isn't showing okay we're gonna have to change the code a little bit um, there has to be an order for this to work we're going to bypass the usual on device ready and we're going to use the page in it instead as a trigger to get the position so once the page once page one has finished loading this assumes the device is running already so that the page can run so I'm combining and getting rid of on device ready so when page one is finished loading or in initializing calls a function called get get posts this is where we get our geolocation and on success 
it defines the variable latitude and longitude and then finally it calls initialize map and this is basically what will draw the map onto your device so it's the same usual code in the example okay so let's run this okay and the map shows up um, obviously the IP the um, the longitude latitude isn't here it's out in San Francisco somewhere um, the next obvious step is to draw a marker to the location instead of just having a map this is all on Google's website the marker it's just a, another marker object that you call and there's parameters in there as like the position using my lat and long map is based on the map variable we defined here for now I'm going to set the drag with the true just to show you later on what we're doing and you can title your map obviously so we can run it so the marker here obviously you can since the parameter is set draggable just in case the your position isn't in, uh, completely exact or you want to get more in detail and you can drag it to like a specific block basically or street All right. So obviously what you can do is now you would have a, a save button up here somewhere on the header and you can save the longitude and latitude of the marker. So you can save it to a database and so on. So you can add events to the map and this event listener basically when it tells you when it, you stop dragging or the dragging ends you can grab the marker latitude and marker longitude with this event lat and long to fix this represents the um, the decimal behind the longitude and latitude obviously you can increase it or decrease it and this console logs out the latitude and longitude I'll, I'll alert actually I'll use alert so we can see marker lat, marker long and we just tell the map to center onto the marker that. basically you would save your these two variables into your database And if you look up, um, let's see, if you look into the API further, the Google Maps API further, you can choose your own image as the marker rather than their standard marker. So once we let go, it pops up the longitude and latitude okay. 
and centers the map. Okay, that should get you started on how to integrate the geolocation and Google Maps. Um, the rest is up to you in terms of storing it to the database or use the coordinates however you like.